All right, coach, you're watching this video because you want to build the persuasion skills to sell your training to anyone. And in this video, I'm going to show you exactly how to do this. And here's the thing you need to know about me. I have taken thousands of sales calls, thousands. Uh, I've taken sales calls with interested parents. I have taken sales calls with disinterested parents. I have done cold calls. I have done cold emails. I've done cold DMs. I have done a lot of sales in my career. And what we've developed in this video, um, we're going to be showing you some new things and uh, that I know that you're probably not doing right now in your training business. And this is going to help you become way more persuasive before you even talk to someone. And that's the point of this video. I'm going to make a second part of this video with some persuasive things that you can say on your sales call, but that video won't make sense unless you watch this. So we're going to first, we're going to move left. So we're going to talk about buyer certainty first. So what you want is you want to be able to talk to someone who's ready to talk with you. You don't want to have a conversation with a parent that doesn't know about your program. They don't know about the results that you've achieved with kids that you've worked with. Um, they're just showing up to the call. Like if that's the case, it's not good for you because ideally you're talking to someone that's already educated on your process. They've already been educated about your results. So this is where I have this very, very simple here. Okay. So the first thing that you need to be doing, whether this is on your email newsletter or this is on your social media, you need to pound prospects over the head with success stories. What I mean by this is you need to be able to showcase the results that you get with the kids that you work with. So this can be kids talking about the results. This could be you interviewing parents where they share their results or their kids' results on video or a written testimonial or a photo testimonial. You need to pound people over the head every single day on social media is what this does. It builds more belief with the prospect before they ever talk to you, all right? Because let me use this example here. Let's say we have Coach Joe, we have Coach Jimmy. So Coach Joe, uh, he has good social media, but he's not really posting results. And parents get to a call with him. They don't really know if he's helped other people. They don't really know if he can solve the problem before they talk to them. Uh, and the other coach, right? His social media, it's all results. He's just showing results over and over and over. And he talks to the same parent. Who's going to get the client? Well, the one that has the results, they already have proven to the prospect that they can solve the problem. So the more you showcase the results, the easier it's going to be to build the belief in the buyer before they talk with you. And I will tell you, like our my whole company, if you do your due diligence, my whole company, Make Money Coaching Sports, it is a results-driven business. Coaches that we ever work with, they all go see literally thousands of results that we produce with coaches before they even talk with me, all right? That has helped me so much because I don't have to get on a call and sell anyone. They already know that this works. They already know uh, that other people just like them have experienced good things with our company. So when you use those results to your advantage, it makes your sales process a million times easier. And as far as persuading, the persuading happens in your marketing before they even talk with you, okay? So pound prospects over the head with success stories. That is number one. Number two, it's important. This is a newer method that I'm starting to see with coaches and trainers that I work with. It's call out who you train and call out who you don't train. So in your social media or in your email newsletters, be clear on type of person that you want to work with and be clear on the type of person you don't want to work with. Because what that does, it helps people filter in your program or filter out of your program before they ever talk with you. Because the worst thing you can do throughout the week is be talking to prospects that don't take you seriously, prospects that maybe they join and they ruin your program, uh, prospects that aren't going to be committed. You don't even want to have to deal with those people. Uh, and I'm just be super upfront with you, like too many coaches take on too many uncommitted clients. And that's what's ruining a lot of these coaches businesses. And so what you can start doing in your marketing is you start calling out who you want to train 
like who is the perfect fit for you, who you don't want to work with. And let me give you a good example. Like I could take out my phone and I could create a like 20 second Instagram video. And I could say something like, hey, if you want to work with us in our program, your son has to be boom, boom, boom. If they are not these three things, we won't accept you as a client. And here's why. And then like, boom, that video, something like that is very powerful. It stands out and it represents who you want to work with. And it's going to show who you're not going to accept. Most coaches are too afraid to do what I'm talking about because they think that's going to like be a bad message to send or a negative thing to send. Like it's actually going to be a really positive thing for you because you're going to start to attract like-minded people that believe in your vision and believe in your mission. All right. So that is something you do uh, when you call people out. All right. Next is we want to create a wall of fame page. If you don't know what I'm talking about, go to my website right now, makemoneycoachingsports.com. There are a couple of selections there. If you just look on my homepage, you'll see I have something that says client results. If you click on that, that is my create or that is my wall of fame page. And you should be building something very similar for your business. And what that is, it is one page where you stack all the results. So on my page, I don't have all the results. <laughs> uh, that's probably 10% of the results that we've gotten with coaches that we've worked with. But there are so many results there, literally thousands. All right. But for you, you need to have something like that on your website or on your Instagram. So when someone gets to your page, they can be like, wow. This guy or this girl is the real deal. They know what they're doing. And it's not them knowing what you're doing just because you say it. They know what you're doing because other people have vouched for you. And that's what that page is all about. So you have one page on your website. You stack all the results there. Every time you get a new result, boom, you go there, put post it there. So when someone gets to that page on your website, it's undeniable that you know what you're doing, that you are the expert. And that's what this is, all right? The expert is gonna have loads of results. And here's the deal. You might know that you have a lot of results with clients, but people who are, who are bystanders that are looking in on your business, that maybe they're comparing you versus someone else, they don't know that. They don't know what the results look like unless you have that somewhere within your marketing. So this is why you need to start pounding people over the head with success stories. Call out who you want to train, who you don't want to train. Create that page on your website or on social media. And that establishes you as the expert. And I have seen enough people that I work with that do this. And they're able to overtake larger companies in their area simply because of the results. And they are showcasing the results all day long. They don't stop posting those. And that is something you can easily do. Now, let me go to this other side. So I'm going to show you a tactical strategy here. So before you ever get to a call with a parent, and this is a newer strategy that we're implementing right now with coaches that we work with. But before you even take the call with the parent, what we want you to do is we want you to give the prospect homework. And let me give you this example. So a parent gets to your website, they apply to work with you. Uh, what you can do is you can have a homework page, which is going to basically take them to this page right here, the wall of fame page. So you can show them results before they speak with you. All right. And the, what you want to do on this page though, is I have it right here. You want to make the results relatable to anyone. So this is why how you do these testimonial videos with parents, like asking the right sort of questions, make that result relatable. If you ask everybody kind of like the same sort of question on this page, it's actually not going to be the same outcome for you as if you start asking slightly different questions. Because when you start asking slightly different questions, you're going to get answers that are a little bit different, but they're going to appeal to each person that is watching. All right. So let me give you this example. Let's say Miss Jones, she's in your funnel. They apply on your website or they DM you on Instagram. They want to talk with you. If you're like, all right, great. I can't wait to talk with you Thursday at 4 p.m. Before we talk, click this link here. Um, this is a uh, step number one of homework. You need to go through and watch some of these videos before we chat. This is going to prepare you for our call. When you when you send someone to that page, 
whether they watch all the videos or not, they know before they talk with you at this point, you are the expert because you're sending them to this results page. I'm telling you right now, if you take what I'm telling you to do and you execute this ASAP, more people are going to see results throughout the week. More prospects are going to be hungrier to buy from you because they know that you're the expert before they ever talk with you, which is which gives you a huge advantage over someone that doesn't do this. Most coaches on the planet won't take action on what I'm showing you here. It's actually really easy to set this up. And on your end, financially, it's going to be way easier to close someone when they have that hunger and desire to work with you versus like you feeling like you have to sell to them. Because persuasion, in my opinion, persuasion is not like, how can I force someone to do something with me? It's, hey, they're already educated on my process before I even talk with them. So the persuasion is already done before you open your mouth on that call. That makes selling so much easier for you. And again, it's going to make your process a lot more efficient too, because now you have steps that the prospect takes before they talk with you. If you like this video, you want more videos like this, hit the subscribe button. You want to talk with me one-on-one -on -one about how we can crush it with your training business. I've already done this over 1,500 times with coaches that have worked with us in various parts of our program. Go right below here. You'll see my phone number there. I'm happy to chat with you. Hope you have a blessed day. Catch you later.